One of the first questions that comes up is, why is it that if, if in fact God has created man uniquely and specially, and if in fact the biblical record is true, that we have so many similarities that exist in living things. A standard high school class in biology will point out that there are enormous similarities among all living things. That is true in chemical standpoints. This is true physiologically and, and morphologically. As you look at living things, you see that they, for instance, all have the same bone names. So, for instance, when a medical student at medical school learns the name of every bone in a rat, he has no new names to learn when he studies a human being. It's interesting to realize that chemically, man's physiological makeup is also similar. We know, for example, that we all have thyroid glands. Cows have thyroid glands. Humans have thyroid glands. And as a matter of fact, this has been very, very important from a medical standpoint. It's also very important in terms of our ability to eat. You cannot eat meat if the meat is radically different chemically than you are. You can eat a hamburger, and it's relatively safe. Try an arsenic burger. And the point I'm trying to make is that the chemistry has to be the same. And it's important to understand that when people talk about the question, well, well, don't these similarities show that we're related? The answer is yes, it shows we're related. It shows that we have been intelligently and logically created in ways that were absolutely necessary. You cannot eat things that are chemically different than you are. It is a tremendous advantage to man to have chemical similarities and morphological similarities with living things. We understand this in the construction business. We don't build houses out of radically different materials and designs and techniques, we use a common design. And all houses, even though they may look radically different exteriorly, are built pretty much the same way. And so we're living things.